going on on day one? Oh, let me cut the TV down, man. Look. We got the Jordan that just dropped yesterday, which was Saturday. You know your boy late as usual, but I still bring y'all the content, man. So that's just let y'all know I'm still out here buying. You feel me? Let's get to it. I ain't got all day. I got a lot going on. Let's move. See where we pick this guy up from. Uh, don't know what state you live in, what country you live in, but here in the United States, we got a store called DTLR. What does that stand for? I don't know. But they got shoes and clothes, so I buy. Anyway, man, here we go. Right here. Your regular box. Now, I'll tell you right now, we're not doing an on foot. I'm going to go a little deep in with the shoe. Not really deep. I'm going to get my own little whatever about the shoe, um, like I do. Y'all know I just be talking all, all in circles, man, because I don't know a whole lot. You know how you boy do it, but anyway, you see the box, black black box, gold jump man on that guy. Y'all see him? Now our colorway today is black, university red. This is the Air Jordan Nine retro, retails at one ninety. Y'all see that guy? Let me see if I can get that a little close. Let me see if y'all see it all. Now, like I talked about my Royal Thirteens. Uh, Everybody's saying that um, this shoe sold out because of the tax season. I think that's a possibility, but it's still sold out. But the thing about it is, there's so many other shoes that's coming out, people could have waited. There's a lot of heat that actually dropped this week, man. So your boy got some stuff coming to y'all. Y'all just wait on it. I'm cooking up some monsters, you feel me? Cooking up some monsters. But everybody talking about these shoes, I've seen a lot of little sneak reviews calling these shoes ugly, but people gotta understand that the Jordan 9 is an iconic shoe to bread. I don't know how long it's been. I don't know how long it's been with this colorway to drop. It's been years since you actually got this bread, this bread Jordan 9. Uh, but a lot of folks saying that, uh, that they cheat, but the 9 has always been the 9. The, uh, the, the leather on it has never been tumbled. I can't remember because I got a few 9s. I don't ever remember the leather being tumbled leather. Uh, the only time you get a different quality is when they throw suede on it. That go your other material. Here you got patent leather, but it ain't, to me it don't even really look like a, a real patent leather, what it looks like to me. Let me take the shoe out, I'm talking. And the shoe right here, man, here we go. We gonna sit this one here, like we do. Matter of fact, we gonna sit here on top of the box. Like we always do. Like we always do, man. Look, and while we doing it, we setting this guy on up, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that notification button, hit that like button. Well, you ain't gotta hit the like button until you see the whole video, but just cause you rock with me, you hit that like button, man. That's just the thing to do. Um, but go ahead and smash the notification button, cause I don't want to forget this at the end of the uh of the vlog or whatever or the video. I don't want to forget. But man, look, here we go. Your Air Jordan 9. You see it is shining. I ain't gonna even lie to y'all. It looked like they put a little primer on here and skeeted a real nice clear coat around. Cause this same patent leather, I'm telling you like, it just don't have that Jordan 11 feel on it. Even though this is a nine, but we say patent leather. It don't have that feel of patent leather on it. Even though Kobe 9's the drop had a different feel than this. But nonetheless, I got them, they sold out <coughs> on the Nike site. Um, just about every site I check, I check Kicks USA. <coughs> I, I check, uh, I think it was called Foot Portal or something. Um, I checked a lot of sites that actually had the sneakers. Uh, of course, your regular ones you already know, like um, Foot Locker, Champs, um, Finish Line, all the good guys. Y'all already know Foot Action, all them good guys, man. Uh, city gear. Everybody sold out in the shoe. I think it's a dope silhouette, man. Um, everybody already know about it. I don't understand any of this stuff on the bottom of the shoe, but you know, no different from any other nine that you see. Um, it's kind of like a charcoal bottom. It's not black completely on the bottom of the shoe. The outsole. You got your red jump man on this guy, but I think it's dope. I think the bottom that they put on it went completely all red. But who can run away from the? The Chicago colors, man. Who can run away from the bread colors? You can't run away from it. Um, you got your mesh or whatever that is on the tongue. You know, right here on the tongue of this guy, you see it say Air Jordan. 
y'all already know it ain't nothing just really off off the chops about this shoe. Um pull this damn tree. Anyway, on the inside of the shoe, y'all already see. Let me see. Cause I'm over here trying to bust it open. I get a little light. Can y'all see that jump man? You probably can't. There you go. You see the jump man inside the shoe, man? Red jump man on that black insole. Or whatever, man. Nothing, nothing spectacular. Like I said, it's just a pan leather. This is a basic shoe. Now, if you're talking about this shoe, if you are a shoe collector and you and you and you bagging on this shoe, talking about this shoe is ugly, it's plain, it's garbage, blah blah blah. But you went out and you bought those Jordan 18. I think that's what they was. Did they, they drop this year? At the beginning, did they drop? Yeah, they dropped at the beginning of this year. If you was one of those people that went and purchased that crap, something really wrong with you. How you gonna go get that? Let me tell you something. Y'all went and let Air Jordan slap a $225 price tag on a on a Shaq shoe. Man, you could have went down at a Walmart. Walmart had them shoes. We still got from Kmart. I'm pretty sure Sears had them shoes. But y'all calling these trash. Now, I'm not going to sit right here and say I'm just taking up for the Air Jordan 9. But come on, man. This is not an ugly shoe. This is like... To me, a Jordan 9, when it comes like this, this is just a plain black shoe to me. Even though they put the little hints of red, you get your little hints of red, but this is like the, forget the Jordan 1. This is, this shoe right here to me is the the Air Air Force 1s tonight. Like, this is just a plain shoe, you can throw it on, it can pretty much go with everything. I'm rocking with it. So, it's really a hate it or love it thing, so. Y'all spam that comment section. Let me know what y'all did. Y'all cop or do you just like the shoe? Are you looking to purchase the shoe? Um, I'm not a big fan of the threes. I actually think this silhouette right here is a lot better than the Jordan 3. A lot of people going to get mad at me when I say that. But what y'all saw when I bought those um, cements, that was the first pair of threes I've ever owned. I've never purchased the three. Because I've never... I've never cared for them. The two and the three have been the worst Jordan to me in that 18. I'm pretty sure that's an 18. Yeah. It's been the worst Jordan ever made to me. Like, I would pick the Jordans that they making now with um, Russell Westbrook with the um, Why Not. I'd pick those over the Jordan 18s. Actually, the twos. Everybody know the twos look like a bowling shoe. But look, let me go ahead and give y'all a little in-depth review. Well, you know, a little thing on these shoes, man. Little vids, little close ups on these guys, and I see y'all in a minute. And yeah, because I do not say, that don't mean I do not see, see, I don't see, yeah. Everything you do, I be, everything, everything you do, I be bad. I keep my friends at a distance, enemies right in my reach. And I need my check off the top, don't play no game. No, 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 no. Give me me, give me me, check, give me me, give me me. Cause I need me, cause I need me. Just give me me, just hey. give me me. I ain't hey. tryna say no more. Hey. My nigga, just pay what you owe. Cause hey. I need me. I ain't tryna say no more. Hey. My hey. nigga, just pay hey. what you owe. Hey. Look. Hey. Look. Hey. I ain't gotta say too much. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. No time. So there you go, everybody, with the in-depth look of the Air Jordan 9 Breads. So, like I said <clears throat> earlier. I don't want everybody to feel like I'm upset about people talking about the shoes are trash. Everybody do have their own opinion, so I don't want nobody to feel like, hey, I'm I'm trying to stick up for the Jordan brand or the Jordan 9 itself. It's not that, man. It's just that um, I guess everybody do have their difference of opinion, so they got the right to like what they want to like. So I like the shoe. Um, it's not my favorite Jordan, but I rock with it. So with that being said, man, I cop. I didn't see a why not. Or did I? Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say, man. I cop the shoe. I like the shoe. That's what it is. Buy what you want because it's your money. You the one got to put them on your feet. So until then, man, like I told y'all before, we hit that like button. Smash that notification button. Comment, share. Share this with everybody. You understand? Because they will not get this content unless you show it to them. You know, they can stumble across a few of my videos, whatever. But if you go right to them, say, look, bro. I got this dude named Day One, man. You need to check out his page, man. I mean, his channel, man, right on YouTube. Go on and do that. So until then, man, I'll see y'all for later. Thanks for watching. I got a bad feeling about this.